Today I'm going to show you how to install the Google Play Store on the 2017 models of the Amazon Fire tablets. First things first, you're going to need to make sure that your device has all of the latest updates. To do that you're going to Settings, Device Options, System Updates and then Check Now. And if it says there's no updates found, it means you have the latest version of the Kindle software on there. So next thing, go back to home and we'll go back into the settings and we need to go into security and we need to enable apps from unknown sources. So when you click on it, it'll come up with a warning. It's just to let you know that it's uh, you're going to be installing software from unknown sources. It's perfectly okay. So you see a warning and you just need to click OK um, to the warning. Next you need to visit the, the Twitter link that I've posted down below in the description and you need to download um, four separate files. Um, so you do these in order. So if you click on link one first And when that page is loaded, this will enable you to download the Google Account Manager. So when it's loaded, scroll down and click on Download APK. It does say there's a newer version available below, but you can just ignore that because all of the Google software will update itself. So if you just leave it a few seconds, eventually the, um, the download will start. Prior to that, you will get a warning. You just click OK to the uh, the warning message, and then it'll tell you when it's when it's finished downloading that. And then you do the same for link two. So click download APK. It takes you to another page, and eventually the download will start. For link 3, if you've got the Fire 8 2017, then you need to click on the second link 3, otherwise click on the first link 3. So I'm doing this on the Fire 7, so I'm going to use the first link. So download the APK, and the final link is just the one at the bottom of the tweet. When everything's downloaded, if you just click on the hamburgers, on your browser and click on downloads you will see a list of the files that you've just downloaded so the first one that you downloaded will be the one at the bottom of the list so if you install them from the bottom to the top so all you do is click on them and click install and while that's installing you can go back and then click the second one from the bottom and do the same again and then the third one from the bottom, same again, and finally the, the one at the top of the list, which is the Google Play Store. So then you just need to wait. Okay, so this process takes a couple of minutes. Once the process has completed, you'll see the Google Play Store on the home screen. When the Play Store does appear, uh, then you just need to restart the tablet or switch it off and back on again, as I believe you need to do. Once you switch your tablet back on, you can then go into the Play Store and it will just go through the, uh, the normal setup so it'll ask you for your Google account details. Once you've signed into the Play Store, you'll have access to any apps that you've bought through the Google Play Store. You can also install a proper version of the YouTube app. That's basically it. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe.